everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I am part of another collab. This one is hosted by Hip Hip Renee. A bunch of us are doing different builds based off of scenes from horror films. Now I personally am not a big horror film fan, so uh, I but I have seen a lot of horror films because my mother is a huge horror film buff. So I luckily was able to use my childhood trauma, okay, joking mom, I, I wasn't traumatized or anything, but my childhood knowledge of all the films that I saw when I was much too young in order to decide on one to watch, or one to build a house based off of, sorry, I can't talk, but I decided on the Blair Witch Trials. Now it turns out that the Blair Witch house was based off a real house that has since been demolished back in early 2000s. So I built that along with like the campsite in the, in the film. And it was, it's va very vaguely loosely based off it because I can't quite remember what it all looked like. It's considering the film was like filmed as like a documentary kind of thing with like them being in the woods and experiencing all of it firsthand. I wasn't able to get perfect details, but you know, I just kind of improvised a little bit. So just giving you a heads up, there's going to be plenty of spoilers ahead, spoilers ahead if you have not seen this film yet. If you do not want to get spoiled, I guess just stop watching now, but you have been warned. Now the film follows the supposed true story of a couple film students named Heather, Mike, and Josh out in October of 1994, so the year I was born actually, <laughs> uh, they decide that they want to film a documentary on a supposed fable in a local area called the Blair Witch. Now this is where it gets gruesome. They are told by local residents while, that they interviewed that there was a her hermit who lived in the woods and kidnapped several children back in the 1940s. The film students, ignoring the danger and warnings from basically everyone they run into about how dangerous these woods are, they head into the woods and they start experiencing very strange things. They ex experience like strange sounds in the night, like hearing children laughing, unknown forces shaking their tents, and they slowly start to lose their sanity the longer they stay in these woods. So tensions are also rising and the three are constantly fighting and yelling at each other and eventually they discover that Josh, one of the three film students, is missing. And when they discover that he is missing, they also end up hearing that night what sounds like him screaming in pain. and. A bunch of his things are ended up being scattered all over the tent and the campsite and they seem to be kind of covered in a pipe of slime I think the actually I think the items being scattered happened before he went missing it's been a long time since I've seen the movie but with Josh missing the other two are absolutely terrified Heather ends up feeling very bad for him going missing and for them being lost in the woods and she ends up discovering the following morning this kind of pulpit I believe or like it was like a doll of like twigs it is actually wrapped with a piece of his clothing and what looks like his bloody teeth and it other other uh gruesome details that I am a little afraid that I might get in trouble with YouTube for saying, so I will not, but yeah, it's, it's pretty bad, and she ends up not telling Mike about it just because she doesn't want to cause issues any further, I'm thinking. I, I don't quite remember her reason why she didn't tell him. So after a while, they do decide to actually go and save Josh because they hear his screaming again. So they follow the sounds and they end up finding this building, which is kind of what I'm trying to build here right now. Like I said, it was 
pretty difficult for me to like quite get an idea how this house looked because it's been a long time since I've seen the film. So I did look up on Google like what the house looked like so I tried to base it the best I could with it and I couldn't really find much for as far as interior goes so I just made up my own. But they end up getting to this house and the house they can hear him screaming and it sounds like it's coming from upstairs so Mike will end up running upstairs to find the body or find <laughs> not find the body to find Josh and in the house there is also what appears to be demonic symbols and small bloody handprints that look like they're the size of children and then uh, after Mike goes upstairs, he realizes the voice is actually coming from the basement. So he goes downstairs when he is suddenly attacked by an unseen force. The attack ends up causing Mike to drop his camera. And not long after, Heather ends up coming into the basement screaming as well. And her camera ends up capturing Mike and he's standing in the corner of the basement and then she is suddenly attacked and her, she ends up dropping her camera too and the film rolls for a couple seconds and it ends. The film when it was being promoted was being marketed as if it had been like filmed like an actual event that had happened to these people to these students and they ended up, the film is, according to Encyclopedia, uh, was thought to be the first film that was marketed mostly through the internet. Back in 1999, yes, the internet existed. It just wasn't really as big as it is today. <laughs> I'm sure I'm probably making some of my viewers feel old and other ones are confused thinking what the internet was not always a thing. But yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> The Blair Witch was a fictional legend about a woman that resided in Blair, Maryland. And the witch was, the supposed witch was a woman named Ellie Kenward. And she was accused of witchcraft and put to death. And then the fictional residents believed that the witch had ended up cursing the lands when children started going missing and those residents ended up fleeing. So here are some screenshots of the build I took. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, it's been a long time since I saw the film and I'm not a big horror buff as is, but I was really excited to do this collab and I really hope that you check out everyone else in this collab and Thank you, Hip Hip Renee, for letting me be part of this. But thanks again, everyone who watched this. If you enjoy it, please like it before you go. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. If you want to keep seeing my content, it's totally free. You can do it unsubscribe anytime you want. I am super close to getting to 200 subscribers, which is my goal for the end of 2020. So I'd really appreciate your support if you do like the videos I've been producing. I will say that November I will not be making as many videos just because of the fact that I'm going to be taking part of a writing challenge that is going to require a lot of my free time considering I also work and I get very limited time to myself in the evenings. But I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, was there anything you liked about my build or anything that you thought I could have done better? Please let me know in the comments below. And I hope that everyone has a magical day. Bye.